Hey there, Jim here. This is a quick video on how to use the built-in equation editor in OneNote. If you click on the insert tab, you will notice this equation option up here in the toolbar. So let's click on that. And that gives us a bunch of math symbols and templates. And let's suppose we wanted to build a fraction. We would just click on that template and then we can type right into these little boxes. And if I want to do something like X squared, um, you can use the, the squaring template over here or another option instead of that template. If you want to do the square, you can use that little caret above the six and then put your exponent. And then when you hit the space bar, that will automatically throw it in the exponent position also. So a couple of options there. And if you want to type in a trig function, you just type the trig function. Uh, let's see, let's go down into the denominator and do some other math in here. Let's suppose we want parentheses. You can use the parentheses right from the keyboard or you can grab those grouping symbols right over here. And let's just put in a function in here, tangent of x. And then I'm gonna use the right arrow to move to the outside and again, if I want to do an exponent, I could do the shift six, which will give that little up caret thing. And that'll be an exponent. It's just sort of waiting for me to type the exponent. I type it and hit the space bar and there we go. Now, another thing, I'm going to hit the right arrow here, put a space. If you want to do a, a quick fraction, you can do this. And when you hit the space bar, it will turn it into a stacked fraction. So using that fraction template works great if you're you know, doing something that's got a more complicated numerator and denominator. But if you just need a quick little fraction, you can just do that, hit the space bar, and space will put, you put the, um, the fraction in that stack form. Uh, you probably won't need it in this class, but you can do subscripts also. So if I did four and then I do the underscore, and then a two, that's gonna, whoops, and I forgot to hit the space bar. And I click the space bar, it'll put it as a subscript. Uh, four subscript two is kind of meaningless, but maybe we put a letter there. So Y subscript two, Y sub two. So some basics on using the built-in equation editor. It's pretty slick, pretty easy to use, and hopefully that works for you.